Hey everyone, my name is Riley, and in this video, we are going to be comparing in video to Flicky to figure out which of these is the best video generation tool. We will be comparing the pricing on both in video and Flicky. We will also be taking a look at the features that they have. And most importantly, we will be deciding which of these offers the best video quality. Now to start out with both of these tools, I will leave my affiliate link for both of these in the description and using those affiliate links when signing up will get you the best deals and discounts possible. So in here, if we take a look at in video, let's go ahead and open up both of these links. And this is the screen that we will be taken over to. As you can see, we can get a free account on both of these tools. And if we compare them, in video does have a better free account. As you can see, we get 10 minutes per week of AI generation, whereas on Flicky, this is five minutes of credits per month. So if we actually calculate this monthly, then NVIDIA is going to give us 40 minutes worth of AI video per month, whereas Flicky is only going to give us five minutes. So it's clear to see in terms of the free account that we can get. In video is by far the best. Although we don't get access to the iStock images and videos, we do get access to 2.5 million videos and images on the standard media section. On Flicky, this is pretty much the same, thousands of images, video clips and music assets. So in terms of the free account, in video is by far the best. However, when we actually go to the pricing, let's flick this to monthly. In video is very, very expensive compared to Flicky. With Flicky, we have two plans right here. We have standard and premium, and the standard for $28 per month will give us 180 minutes of video credits. Then if we use all of these, we have to upgrade to the premium account right here. There's nothing like in between these, which is a little bit annoying. It's not as customizable, but this premium plan for $88 per month gives us 600 minutes of video credits per month. Now, if we compare this to in video, in video is very, very expensive. So we have plus and we have max and we can see for $25 per month, which is almost the same price as the standard. We only get 50 minutes of AI generation compared to the 180 that we get with Flicky. Now, if we move this up and this is where it becomes really interesting, max actually becomes cheaper. Like look at this. For $50 per month, we get 100 minutes of AI generation, whereas for an extra $10, we can essentially double it. And then on plus, if we actually move this up to get 200 minutes of AI generation, this is the set and this is an extra $40. So at this point, we want to be comparing the max. And if we turn the max up to get 600 minutes of AI generation to match Flicky, look at the price difference, $88 compared to $180. So right here, we can see that Flicky is by far the cheaper option. It's a lot less expensive than in video that is going to be very expensive when we compare this to Flicky. With the pricing out of the way, let's now go ahead and sign up for a free account and see which of these is actually the best when we get inside of the software. So the first thing that I would say when we compare both of these tools is the user interface on in video is a lot better. Like with Flicky, it kind of feels a little bit outdated. Whereas in video, it feels very up to date and very modern. Definitely not the most important thing in the world, but I thought I would put that out there. So what we can do is let's go to Flicky and we can create a new file. Then we can choose if we want to start with any of these, if we want to enter in a script for it to turn into a video, if we want to enter in a blog post, a tweet, or just a prompt. This is probably what we will be going with. So we can start with a prompt and let's call this five interesting facts about dogs. We can then submit and then it's going to ask us to enter a prompt in right here. So for the idea prompt, we will give both of these tools the exact same prompt to go ahead and create a video. So this prompt is going to be a video showing the top five most interesting and largely unknown facts about dogs. Then down here, we can set this to stock media and let's go ahead and submit this. Then I'm going to take this and copy and paste this into in video to give it the exact same prompt. And we can generate both of these videos right here. With in video, it's then going to ask us things like the audience. So who are we going to go for here between these options? It's going to ask us the look and feel. So let's, let's keep this as bright. And then the platform that we are aiming for. Then we can click on continue and it's going to generate this video.
Flicky is not going to do this. It's just going to go straight ahead and generate the video for us. So with that in mind, Flicky is going to be faster. As we can see, Flicky is already done and we have the video right here. Whereas in video is only 12% of the way there. So just like that, we now have both of these videos right here. And something interesting to note is that although I asked Flicky, I will put a screenshot on screen now, I asked Flicky to create me a one minute video. And this video is 37 seconds. Whereas the one on in video is one minute and six seconds. But either way, we now have both of these videos. So let's go ahead and click play and watch both of these to see which of these is going to be the best straight off the bat. Let's start with in video. If your dog looks at you like you're their whole world, you're probably right. Let's dive into the top five unknown facts about dogs. Fact hash one. Dogs have their own unique nose print, just like human fingerprints. So if Fido ever needs an ID, his nose has got him covered. And now let's take a look at Flicky. Do you want to know five surprising facts about dogs? In the next few seconds, you'll discover things even the biggest dog lovers might not know. Did you know a dog's nose print is unique? Just like a human fingerprint? Ever wondered why dogs curl up when they... So that's pretty interesting, right? I give both of these tools the exact same prompt and the first fact was the exact same. Either way, was there a noticeable difference between the video quality on both of these? I would actually say Flicky came out slightly on top. In my opinion, the video that we just watched with Flicky is slightly better. But now let's take a look at how we can edit both of these videos. So inside of Flicky, if we want to change the script or anything that is said here, we just come over to this left hand side and we can retype anything out. So if I wanted to replace this, I would just type in what I want to replace, just like this. And then once that is saved, if we just go ahead and click on play again, the AI narration is automatically going to narrate over this. Top five facts about dogs in the next few seconds. So pretty easy, right? With in video, we can once again do the same thing. So we just click in and edit right here. And then we can go over to the script area right here. And once again, it's laid out in these different sections, just like in Flicky. So if I want to change something, I can just go in here and we can make some changes just like that. And then we can click on apply and it's going to go ahead and change the script. And once again, narrate over this. Media is also easy to change with both of these tools. On Flicky, we just come down here and click into media. And then let's say I want obviously a dog. We can just search for this and then choose one of these right here. So I can go for this, click on select. And just like this, in a second, this media is going to change. With in video, we just click back into edit, go to the media area, and let's say I want to change this one right here. We just search for dog, and then we can upload one of these dog images right here. And just like that, this is now going to be replaced. Which one was it? It was this one right here. We can also change the narrator on either of these tools, kind of like the AI voice in the back. By on Flicky, we go over to voiceover right here and we can click into the voice. And these are all of the different voices that I have. Now, remember I am on the free plan, which is why some of these are grayed out, but we can see we have standard and ultra realistic voices. So if I wanted to change from Mia to Cooper, then we can just select this, click on create. And just like that, Cooper is now going to be voicing over this. I did forget to apply to all scenes. So let's go like this. And now it's going to go ahead and change Cooper to all of these scenes. With NVIDIA, we can go over into edit and then we want to go to edit script and then we can see the narrator right here. So we can change speaker to click on this and we only have five options in this area. However, this makes NVIDIA look a lot more limited than it is because this is the next thing that I wanted to speak about. So although we only have five speakers compared to where Flicky has a bunch of different ones that we can choose from. What in video can actually do that Flicky can't is we can actually use prompts to edit this video. So this is a massive bonus for in video that we don't get with Flicky. So in here I can say, let's listen to the voice now actually. If your dog looks at you like you're their whole world, you're probably right. So we can take that right there and we can say, change the narrator to an old woman. And then we can click on generate. 
and it's going to actually change the voice narrator to an old woman. So although at first glance, when we clicked into edit and we took a look at the voices, there were only five that we could choose from. However, if we use the prompt at the bottom, we can actually get access to more voices than we can on Flicky because we have essentially unlimited customization. So now this is loaded in. Let's once again go back and give this a listen. If your dog looks at you like you're their whole world, you're probably right. These are the top five facts about dogs. Pretty cool, right? We could also go down here and I can say make chapter one shorter and then we can generate and it's going to do exactly what we put into the prompt area. So in reality, I would say this is the only major pro that NVIDIA has over Flicky is the fact that we can come in here and we can make changes to this video and edit it just by giving it prompt. So overall out of NVIDIA and Flicky, which is going to be the best tool? In my opinion, this is definitely going to be Flicky. For starters, the price difference is absolutely crazy and NVIDIA is just very expensive compared to Flicky. And secondly, the video quality that we can get from both of these tools is really not that much different. If anything, I would actually say that Flicky has a slightly higher video quality. So that is my comparison between InVideo and Flicky. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.